Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you my foundation and eyebrow routine. I've actually had a lot of requests for this video, so I'm excited to finally do it for you guys. It's also the very beginning of a brand new series that I'm going to bring, be bringing here onto my channel that I'm super excited for. So lately I've kind of learned that in the beginning of the week, I'll kind of pick a makeup look that's going to fit my week and just using products that I'm kind of feeling that week or that I'm gravitating towards and I will pick a makeup look and then I will wear it pretty much for the rest of the week. Sometimes what you wear on your face is just as stressful as like what outfit you're gonna wear and I don't know about you but sometimes I'm standing in my closet for like 10 minutes stressing about what the heck I'm gonna wear. So by doing this, it's kind of made it to where I can still put my best face forward, but I don't have to like think about it too much. Sometimes you're also just like feeling certain products. Sometimes you get a new eyeshadow and you're excited to use it, so you wear it uh, the whole week going forward. So I thought that it would be fun to, at the end of every week, I will show you guys what makeup look I have been wearing over the past week, and I will just kind of do like a little sit down, chit chat, get ready with me makeup tutorial for what I've been wearing for the past week and I'm going to put these videos out every Friday. For now, I will go ahead and jump in with my foundation and eyebrow routine and show you guys what I literally do every single day with my face. So the most important step of putting on your foundation is what you do before your foundation. If you have oily skin, you want to do whatever you can to get rid of um, any excess oil. So you really just want to prep your skin uh, for your foundation and that will really help your foundation last longer and look the best that it can look. So first I'm using my Josie Maron, Maron uh, Pure Argon Milk and I've just started using this recently and I have just like completely fallen in love with it. And just put a couple dots in certain areas and I just kind of dab it all in. Next I'm going to use my Vino Protect and Hydrate Lotion and Sunscreen in SPF 70. Then I'm going to prime my skin and I use the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base. And I more focus it just like on my T-zone area because that's where I have my pores and my oily skin. Okay, so now that that's all done, I'm going to go in with my foundation and I am using the MAC Pro Longwear Foundation. And I use the color NW20 and I just kind of shake it up a little bit. And then I put a couple squirts on the back of my palm. Then I use my Beauty Blender and you just run this underneath uh, water for a couple of seconds and then squeeze out all of that extra moisture. And I found that the more uh, moisture that's in these, the less coverage you get. So if you want like a very natural looking coverage and you want to like make a heavy foundation a little bit lighter, you can run it underneath the water for a few more seconds. Um, but I like mine to be not too moisturized. So then I just take the foundation that's on the back of my hand and I just kind of put it in different areas. And then I just take my beauty blender and just kind of pick up any excess that's on my the back of my hand. And then I just start going in and dabbing the foundation into my skin. Make sure I kind of go down the neck a little bit to blend everything in. So I just continue to really pat that into the skin. My foundation routine, like this part, really does take me like three to five minutes because I really just like go over the skin and just make sure that everything is nice and worked into the skin. So that is my foundation and I think something that I did when I was younger um, was if I put on my foundation and I still saw some imperfections I would just like keep loading on the foundation until I had a flawless um, coverage but that also made it to where I looked like I had way too much makeup on and it was a little too cakey. And your concealer's job is to come in and fix any of those imperfections that your foundation didn't fix. That way you're not just putting a whole nother layer of foundation over your whole face when you really only need like two or three spots that need a little bit extra um, coverage. So that's what concealer is for. 
So I am using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW20, and I get it in the same um, color as my foundation. A lot of women will get um, a concealer that's one shade lighter than their foundation, and that really does give a pretty effect because they put it underneath their eyes and more on their T-zone, and it brings light to the center of your face, and it acts as like a concealer and a highlighter. But since I love this concealer so much, and it gives such great natural coverage, I like to put it not only underneath my eyes, but also on my blemishes. But a lot of women will get two different kinds of concealers. They'll get an under eye concealer that's one shade lighter, and then they will get a blemish concealer uh, that is the same tone as their foundation, so that way everything blends in. But again, because I like this foundation or this concealer so much, I use it for the entire face. So I just put one pump on the back of my hand, and then I take my finger, and I just put it underneath the eyes, kind of going down to the nostril area and kind of creating that classic V. And then I just go in over any blemishes that I have. So then I take my beauty blender again and this time I use the pointed tip. And I like this because it really gets into like the corner of my eye. And I go over my eyelid as well. And I just love this concealer. It just covers everything up but it doesn't shift, it stays all day, it doesn't get cakey. It just blends right in with my foundation perfectly. And that is my foundation all done. I love the coverage that these two things give me and like I said before, they seriously last all day long. So for brows, I use my Anastasia um, Brow Duo in Ebony and it has two colors in here. Um, and when the lady first pointed this out to me, I was just like, there's no way I'm using that on my face because it's so dark looking. Um, one is more of like a grayer brown, and then the other one is like a very, very, very deep brown. But they ended up working perfectly, and I have been using it every single day since I got it. And then I start at the beginning of my eyebrows, and I just kind of lightly feather it in, and I just follow my natural eyebrow shape. Another big major tip that I have for getting perfect eyebrows is to make sure that your eyebrows are well groomed to be to start with. I have really bad eyebrow days when um, I haven't like tweezed my eyebrows when I haven't really kept them up because this is formulated to like grab onto those hairs and so when I have very little tiny hairs up here going up to my forehead, the powder will just like cling onto them. And so before I know it, my um, eyebrows are looking a lot thicker and just like messier than I was wanting them to look. And it's because they weren't well groomed to start with. So when I dip my brush into my powder, I kind of unload the brush right here in the thicker part of my eyebrow. That way a lot of the product is cutting off. So that way when I work through, I, I'm having less and less product on my brush. If I were to like come in with my uh, powder and then go straight to here, this part would be very dark and it would look very fake and very like drawn on. So I unload my brush in the beginning and then I don't reload it as I continue on down. And that is my foundation and eyebrow routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. And I will see you guys every Friday with my weekly beauty routine here going forward. And I'm so excited for this little series. I'm also going to kind of make it like a chit chat with me so I can just like sit down and talk with you guys and catch up while I am showing you what I've been wearing for the past week on my face. So I hope you guys are having a great week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!